thought I'd do a quick video on a mod I came up with for getting rid of some of the vibration in the handlebars. There's uh, different solutions out there that you can buy. I've tried some of them. The big thing that I didn't particularly care for is when I do the bark busters, the wraparound hand guards, um, the inserts in the end of the bars. I just never found anything that would mount as solidly as I would like it to nor did I find anything that got rid of enough vibration. And there were some options out there that were quite expensive. I wasn't worried about that, I just wanted something that would work. So I've come up with a process that I've tested over the last couple of years and it works pretty good. So I thought I'd do a quick video to kind of show you what I came up with. This is the stuff that I use. Uh, it's fairly cheap and easy to get a hold of. I'm gonna be doing this with my cell phone. So if it's bouncing around, I apologize. So this is just a lead bird shot. Uh, this is a piece of a rod that went into a floor lamp. These are just uh, corks. I think um, they're number seven, maybe number five, I'm not sure. An old handlebar. What I wanted from that was the inner diameter. And then a piece of hose that kind of matches the inside diameter of the handlebar so what you're going to end up doing is it's kind of uh, following the concept of the dead blow hammers that have uh, the material in there and when you slam it down it doesn't really bounce back up so i take a cork using this rod that i've measured i shove the first cork in the end of the handlebar until it hits where the bar turns the radius where it first starts to bend um, shove one all the way in then I measure the distance between the end of that cork and a second cork and the bar insert to see how much uh, room is left over. I calculate the space. Then I use an old bar, fill it with birdshot until I get the right amount of volume of uh, lead birdshot in that diameter space. Then I pour it out into this tube and then mark the tube. That way I know exactly how much needs to go in. Then once I have the first cork shoved all the way in and it's pretty much the length um, from the end of this to that mark right there shove the cork in fill that with bird shot then I pour the bird shot into the end of the handlebar Then I take another cork I turn this rod around and I shove the second cork in the length of this end piece which is about the length of uh, the handguard wraparound insert that mounts and that leaves enough room where I put the hand guards on that it doesn't hit the uh, cork. So I'll go ahead and do a little sample video if I can. One armed, one phone arm, one, one option arm. And I'll give you guys a kind of a quick look on, on how the process goes. So you would put the cork in the end of the bar there. Sorry, it's a little bit overexposed. Then you would take this rod. I've already shoved the cork in because I can't do it one-handed and you'd shove the cork in with this rod until you hit the length which would be right there and that's based off of shoving the cork in until it hits this bend piece it goes a little bit past but the flat spot stops right about there and then the second cork will stop right about there and so that volume from here all the way to about here is filled with lead birdshot um, you really don't notice the weight, but it turns the handlebars and each side into kind of a dead blow hammer. And the amount of vibration that it cuts down, for me anyway, uh, works perfectly. In fact, when I did it on my 300 um, and went out testing it, the first thing I noticed was I was getting a, uh, my feet had a lot of vibration in them. And I'm like, well, it was always there. It's just I never noticed it because my hands were so bad because it would drive my hands to go numb. Um, of course, that older 300 doesn't have a counterbalancer on it so anyway uh, I'll show you the next process here in a second so here's with the second cork put in you'll shove it in that far from mine and that gives me the gap for the uh, bark buster mounting hardware So here's with the tube filled up with the lead bird shot. It's measured out, and then what I do is I pour that into the end of the handlebar um, 
after the first cork is put in. And then once this is poured in, I put the second cork in and I shove the second cork in the length of that remaining rod right there. And then it's done. And I just install the bark busters and uh, I got uh, vibration dampeners in the bars. And I think it works out to about maybe $3 per handlebar set. And you can probably do, I don't know, 20 handlebars easily if you don't even reuse any of the stuff. So hopefully this helps someone out there. If you guys have any questions on or need additional details or information on this, uh, drop me a comment. Have a good one, guys.